So this question and the next question we will do together. And um, the reason that I'm bringing up these questions is that you have to be able to handle or use the tests, first derivative test, second derivative test, or the graph of the function set, and determine different uh, things about the function. Here, uh, the function is given, the graph of the function is given, and we are trying to see where the function is increasing, where it is decreasing, uh, where it's concave up, concave down, and so on. So you just go ahead and do the definitions basically here, yes? So you see that uh, up to this part, so from negative infinity up to negative two, the function increases. So this is increasing into it. Did I start recording? Yes. And then it decreases up until zero and from zero to plus infinity, it again increases. So that is increasing intervals. And then the decreasing intervals are going from, well, the rest will be in, in decreasing interval from negative two to plus infinity. Ah, not the plus infinity, up to zero. Okay, how about uh, um, local or, or relative max mean and in inflection points? So local max mean, now you know where this happens. It's something that locally the function has the maximum value or minimum value. So the relative, by the way, local max mean is the same thing as relative max mean. So relative max uh, at point x equal to negative two occurs. So f of a negative two is the relative max and relative uh, mean is f at this point zero. How about the concavity? Oh, by the way, these two happens to these two happen to be the absolute max and absolute mean as well. So these are absolute max and absolute mean. How about concavity? You see, here as we go up, up to some point like up to this point, it looks like this, it's concave up. But well, from that point on, it goes down and down, down, down. Somewhere here, I would say, all this piece here is concave down. And then from this point on, maybe a little bit more, I should be a little bit more here, somewhere up to here. And then from this point on, it turns around and goes up, 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 up to some point here. So this is something that we're just doing approximately. And then from this point on, the graph is downward. So the concavity of the function is downward. And now where the function is defined and uh, it's continuous and the, the uh, concavity changes inflection point. So we have inflection point here, inflection, oops, I did change that to this and this. So these three are inflection points. Okay, so it seems straightforward, everything is good, but questions won't be asked this way, or maybe be, will be asked in this way. What is important is that I would like you to be able to handle the situation when the graph of F prime is given. This is interesting part. Okay, 
So this time the function, the graph of F prime is given. And then the question is where it is increasing, where it is decreasing and so on. Okay. Using the increasing decreasing test, we know that if F prime is positive, then the function is increasing. And if F prime is negative, then the function is decreasing. Being positive means where the function is above F prime. The graph of F prime is above X axis. So up to, oops, sorry. Up to this point, the function of F prime is above X axis. So it means that F prime is positive. So that means that from negative infinity to negative one, the function F itself, we are talking about the function F is increasing. Where it is decreasing, wherever, where F is decreasing, wherever F prime is negative, or in other words, the graph of F prime is below X axis. And that is anywhere from negative one forward up to plus infinity. Don't confuse F with F prime. I don't have the graph of F here. This is graph of F prime and I'm using increasing decreasing property a decreasing, increasing, decreasing test. And knowing that if F prime is positive, the function is increasing, I find this one. And F prime is negative, then the function is going to be decreasing, I found that. How about concavity? This is also another important thing. So we know that for, this is uh, increasing, decreasing test. This is applied on the graph of F prime. How about concavity? So concavity test is about F double prime, yes? So we know that we are interested where F double prime is positive and where F double prime is negative. If F double prime is positive, the function is going to be concave upward. If F double prime is negative, the function is going to be concave downward. But how I can know where F, F double prime is positive? The key point is this, F double prime is the first derivative of F prime. First derivative of F, any function in particular F prime tells you where the function is uh, Yes, the first derivative tells you where the function is increasing and where the function is decreasing. Or if I know where F prime is increasing, that means that at that point, F double prime is going to be positive because F derivative of F prime is F double prime. So F double prime is positive if F prime is increasing. And I know that increasing intervals actually we found in the uh, previous part from negative infinity up to negative two, F prime is increasing. It means that its derivative, which is F double prime will be positive. And as a result of that, F itself, it will be concave upward. So negative, infinity to zero uh, to negative two and zero to plus infinity is where F prime is increasing. As a result, F double prime is going to be positive. And as a result, 
f is concave upward. If double prime is negative, if f prime is decreasing, but if double prime decreasing, we can read it from the graph. It is negative two, the interval from negative two to zero. And as a result of that, F is concave downward on this. So that is how we find concavity uh, of F. How about max mean? Well, uh, we know that function is increasing from negative infinity to uh, negative one. And from negative one to plus infinity, it is decreasing. So first of all, F has one critical point. Well, we are assuming that F prime is defined everywhere. So it means that the only critical points are the points where F prime is equal to zero. In other words, the graph of F prime intercepts with X axis and there's only one. And before negative one, the function is increasing. And after that, it is decreasing. So using the first derivative test, f at negative one is uh, uh, a relative max value. Is there any relative mean? Well, we only have one critical point, so we won't have any relative mean here. And again, since the function is increasing before and then decreasing after, this point not only is relative max, it's going to be absolute max of the function. I guess those were the points that we wanted. Oh, what about the point of inflection? Points of inflection of F are basically relative max means of F prime. So let me just write that. Points of inflection of F are relative or these are the same thing, relative max um, where the relative max mean of the functions. Where the relative extrema of F prime occurs. So if you're looking for inflection points you and you have F prime, it's enough to find relative max mean, the points at which the function has relative max mean. So this means that F prime has relative max mean. So this means that we have two points. F has two points of inflection, one at x equal to negative two and the other one x equal to zero. This is relative mean of f prime, that is relative max of 